Hi, it's Daniel Lichanos, and it is report card time. Today we are doing Tony Bologna's in Atlantic City. Brennan Taylor says that this is the most vile restaurant in all of New Jersey. So the question is, how did they score on the lack factor? Please watch and find out. And also make sure you stick around until the end because I will tell you if this is the best dairy-free pizza that I've ever had. It uh, is beautiful out today, but it's hot. And I had no idea that the boardwalk is as long as it is. So I'm going from Caesars, where I just stopped in for a little bit, walking back up to get some vegan pizza that I heard about. Pretty excited about this. Uh, but I'm probably not gonna do all vegan. I'm gonna have some chicken on it. But uh, they do have a dairy-free cheese that I can have. And I don't know if I'll do the gluten-free crust, we'll see. But uh, pretty excited that that's something that is offered. I did actually do a lot of searching for dairy-free Atlantic City. And the biggest thing that popped up was a place called Vegans R Us. But sadly, when I went there and online, they say they're temporarily closed now. So I don't know how long ago they shut down. I guess they have another location somewhere in New Jersey, but the one that is here on Atlantic City uh, that's close enough to walk to, closed. So, very sad about that. I guess they were really good. Uh, hopefully I'll have to find the other one sometime and come back and try it out. So, I hope this place is worth it. <laughs> not to say that it's not, but I am all the way down here at the end of the boardwalk. <laughs> you can see everything is totally behind me. I'm near Rhode Island Ave right now. And you would think that all the shops and restaurants are gone, the way that this looks. But where we're supposed to be going for food is down here. Kind of wild, as they would say, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> So it has to be a good spot if people can find it. But this is definitely the quieter part of the boardwalk. We just passed the Ocean uh, Resort. That's the last one. There's some more beach access, but not much going on here in terms of tourism. At least right now, maybe some other days. All right, Google wants us to go down the street here. So again, there's the ocean, you know, not the beach ocean, the ocean <laughs> resort. I'm curious if anybody knows if there was houses or something all along in here. Because of course, Hurricane Sandy did a number and wiped out most of the pier and the boardwalk. I'm wondering if there was ever anything here that just didn't come back, sadly. Let me know if you know. But it's nothing right now, just a vacant lot. <clears throat> so weirdly enough, Google is saying it's right over here and I see Tony Bologna's in a food truck. But it's supposed to be a restaurant because the food truck looks to be closed. So maybe it is that actual house is the restaurant. Pretty cool lighthouse, by the way, if you can see that right there. But definitely doesn't appear to be a restaurant from here. Looks like someone's house. But then again, I do see some exhaust on the roof. So we could get lucky. And through the distance right over there, that's my hotel. Two miles away. It looks close, kind of. But it's a long walk. Felt even long in the Uber trying to get here. I'm curious how much boardwalk people traffic would come down this road to get here. <laughs> and then again, of course, it makes me wonder why they don't just have vegan options for pizza on the beach. But then again, why would they? 
So that's what brings me over here. Cell phone parking only. <coughs> Excuse me. Different pollen down here, different trees. Gives like that tickle in the throat. What's that mean, cell phone parking only? Hmm. That's a new sign for me, I gotta say. This one says it too, actually. Oh, no, I think I'm getting it. So you can only pay by your cell phone. There are no meters. Yeah, I think it is the building. Tony Bologna's. It's a pretty cool food truck, actually. Pizza, subs, and bad... Looks like badass grill. Got windy down this end of the beach. I was just asking somebody why that is. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. I guess it's where the, the bay meets the ocean. That's what she was saying. I gotta say, I've found weirder places for food, so it doesn't scare me. Yeah, definitely a restaurant. There are people here. All right, I'm feeling better about it. I guess most people use a car to get here. I just chose to walk. So, I gotta tell you, uh, first of all, the pizza. The pizza was okay. I don't think it was the best pizza ever. Um, the sauce kind of lacked a little bit of flavor. I would say the uh, eggplant um, meatball was kind of a little uh, lacking of flavor as well. Uh, I did like it, I did eat it all. It was about 90 degrees inside the restaurant, which was better than sitting out here in the sun because the sun is hot right now. But uh, it was like, I am like, oh my God, sweating. Um, <laughs> It's rough. Uh, the fan wasn't working. Um, I, so I, you know, come out here now just to chat. The place is cool, has a nice hip vibe to it. Um, kind of a little dungy, if I would say. Hot, um, the same music track kept going on and on. And there was a few other clients in the restaurant while I was eating. One of which was talking about his allergies were really bad. And he kept actually clearing his throat and swallowing what he was clearing. It was really nasty, to say the least. Um, I have bad allergies and uh, I wouldn't be doing that in a restaurant. So it was kind of tough to, to stomach. Um, so there was, there was that, there was the music that kept kind of like this auto play going on and on. Um, but the food was, like I said, it was okay. It just wasn't, nothing was bad, but it wasn't incredible either. So when I want to go check out a place, I do my best to not look at the reviews as much before I go there because I want to be sure to form my own opinion, right? I may search, you know, I'll look on Google Maps and stuff when I'm around a place and sometimes a little bit before I get there just to try and find some places. But I honestly try my best not to get into reviews and what people say about it because I seriously want to go in there with a free and open mind as much as possible. But after I go there and after I've tried the food, when I get home and I'm making my videos, that's when I can do some research. But I want you to know, please, very, very know this, that when I go in there and I score on the Lack Factor report card, it is based on my visit and my opinion only. But today we're gonna to get into what other people said after we do our report card. So let's start with the labels. Their menu looks hip and clearly says they have vegan options available and they can make other menu items also to be vegan. I also went and checked out their website and it has labels for vegetarian, vegan, and can be made vegan. I love this and thank you so much for this. However, there are no labels for dairy free. As you know, I am not a vegan. And while eating vegan can certainly be a way for me to make sure that I avoid dairy, I don't want to be a vegan. I love meats, I love fish, chicken, pork, eggs. I'm just allergic to dairy, that's all. So 
I appreciate the vegan side, but I'm not a vegan. I love that the ingredients are listed on their website. You can look at a pizza and all of the ingredients are there. While it's not completely perfect for going dairy free, they're doing amazing things. They just need some more little caressing to be perfect. We're gonna give a nine out of 10 here for labels. For amenities, they have outside seating and inside in the single use restroom. It's definitely an eclectic pizza shop. It has a unique vibe. The AC and the fans sadly were not working, which made it extremely hot. I would say it does the trick for a quick bite, but it's certainly not a welcoming, I want to hang out for a bit kind of restaurant. Um, they could definitely use some umbrellas outside for the tables because it's way too sunny and too hot to sit there in the sunshine. Even as hot as it was inside without air conditioning, I still made the choice um, to sit there because I didn't want to bake in the sun outside. So we're going to have to do 5 out of 10 here for amenities. When it comes to cleanliness, right, moving on to cleanliness, even though I said I like that the place is eclectic, I guess it would be a New Jersey style, though forgive me, I'm not sure what New Jersey style is to be honest with you. Um, it does not mean that it needs to be dungy and dirty and this place wasn't filthy, but it is a bit on the rough side. Like I said, the fans were not working. They were covered in dust and dirt. The walls, tables, menus all feel a little bit kind of greasy. Um, I needed to use the bathroom to wash up before I ate, but there was someone in there since before I arrived till when my food came out, which was, you know, probably like 20 minutes. But I was able finally to go in and kind of wash up a little bit because I've been down in the at the beach and on the boardwalk and everything. When I did go in the bathroom, it was like a funky bathroom. There were scratches all over the mirror. Kind of had like this cheap gas station vibe to it. But uh, it was functional. There was soap and I was able to wash my hands, which is fine. Uh, the food prep area, it looked busy. There was people behind there, uh, meaning there was like flour everywhere. Definitely to say that it's been used. It wasn't disgusting, but it wasn't really clean either. So. We have to do a six out of 10 for cleanliness. Moving on to flavor. My pizza looked nice, but sadly was lacking depth of flavor. Granted, I know many people will say, I can't compare a vegan pizza to a real pizza. And trust me, I'm not trying to do that, right? But I am comparing it to other vegan pizzas that I've had. And against them, it just lacked the love and the extra oomph that I was hoping from a pizza. Right? From looking at all of their other pizzas and the uniqueness of the shop, I was hoping more from the pizza that it just did not deliver. Was it bad? No. Would I order it again? Uh, if I was very hungry and if it's all there was, sure I would. Otherwise, I'd probably order a pizza here of something else. I'd want to try something else because I'm really curious how their other pizzas might taste. The sauce itself wasn't too bad but the cheese was flat, and the worst part was the eggplant meatballs. They were just tasteless and kind of boring. Uh, we're gonna do five out of 10 for that. When it comes to attitude, when I arrived, there were two guests already seated. I looked around, but there was no hello, no help, but I was able to guide myself over to where the menu was located. There were about probably four staff members um, just talking amongst themselves behind the counter. I took the menu, I went to sit down, I started checking it out, looking at it. While I was sitting there, two other potential customers also walked in, kind of looked around. They tried the restroom, but it was locked. They then sat down and I heard them talking like, you know, should we get a menu, should we order? Um, but one of the customers said to the other one, you know, I really need to use the bathroom first and I can't eat until I use the bathroom. So they just kind of sat there, did their thing, right? Um, I went up to the counter and the employee just said to me kind of, yeah, right? Um, I said, okay. So I said, hi, you know, I'd like to get a vegan pizza. The staff member said, oh, I don't know if we have that today. And I said, well, is it possible you could go check for me? Because I came here just for that, right? Um, they made this exhausted sigh and just kind of walked away because they're supposed to have three vegan pizzas. That's what's on their menu. Um, after about what felt like about a minute, they came back to the counter and they said, yeah, we can do that, right? I said, great, which one, you know? Um, and they said, well, we, we only carry the OG at this location. 
And I said, well, the OG it is, I guess, right? Uh, I'd also like to add some pepperoni, please. And I said, not the vegan kind if you have one, but just regular pepperoni. And uh, the guys, you know, the, the, the Mo, why are you gonna do that? That's I said, I'm not vegan. I just have a dairy allergy. So this pizza is safe for me. And I just wanna have some pepperoni on it. So they then asked me, do you want the 25 or the 35? And I said, I'm sure, I'm not sure what that is, but basically it's the bigger one or the smaller one. So <laughs> I didn't know 25 or 35, you know, but I took the 25. Um, they then proceeded to ring up my order and I had to stop and ask for a beverage. They pointed over to the case where they have some beverages. I just felt like I was in their way and um, I, they were kind of rushing me to take my order. There was no other customers behind me waiting to order. And it just felt like weird, like as someone, you know how that feeling is when someone's kind of rushing you. Um, the customers waiting on the bathroom, they had given up. So the bathroom didn't become unlocked, so they left. Um, then some other customers came in, but you know, um, nobody was like waiting to order, but I just felt like it was like pushing on me to leave. So 10 out of 20 for attitude. So when it comes down to cost, 25 or 35, that's what they asked me, right? I went with the $25 for the smaller pizza. While the vegan option is not the most expensive pizza, its price is up there with some of the fancier pizzas. And I feel they get overcharging more because vegan is trendy, right? I do feel the pizza could be a better value, maybe in line with like just a regular cheese pizza. Right? I mean, let's be honest, the vegan eggplant meatballs, I don't think are that expensive, right? And again, remembering the decor and the ambiance of the place, the fact that it's just a simple pizza shop set far away from the boardwalk and the major traffic. I think the price should be more affordable to bring people in. Uh, it could be a reason why the place was so slow even when I was there. So in terms of costs, I'm gonna have to go with a six out of 10 here. For timeliness, my pizza was prepared and cooked fresh in 10 minutes. Can't go wrong there, I am happy with that. There was no line when I came in, but then again, we should think of the time it took me to walk here from the boardwalk, because it's not close to any major attractions. It's off the beaten path for sure, but still service was very fast. I honestly have nothing to say about that. 10 out of 10 when it comes to timeliness. When we think about options, right? When it comes to having dairy-free options, Again, the menu does tell me that a lot of things can be made dairy-free, so there could be significantly more items than I know about. Um, the three vegan pizzas vary by location, and here at Atlantic City, they only had the one. Not even sure if they could make that, they had to check, um, but they did, thankfully, right? Usually everywhere I go, French fries are an option, but on their menu, it does not say that the fries are vegan, which, I kind of find it a little bit odd, but because French fries, you know, always at most places, they usually would be. But so in their menu, it looks like they have three vegan pizzas, but depending on where you go to, which location, they may or may not have none, right? Or maybe one. So this would certainly limit the options that they do have. And I'd love to learn more about the menu and what could be made dairy-free. We're gonna do six out of 10 when it comes to options. When it comes to reception, as I stated when I walked in, I was the only customer coming into order and there was sadly no welcome, no hello. For being three in the afternoon, there was plenty of workers on shift, but they were all busy talking with one another behind the line. Um, again, as I explained in the attitude, I felt rushed through my order, which I spoke about already. Um, I have to say that I did not feel the warm, lovable reception that we all hope for when entering a business, especially for the first time or for any time, really, right? So we're gonna have to do a three out of 10 for reception. So for in total, Tony Bologna's Pizzeria in Atlantic City, Lack Factor Report Card adds up to 65. So now do I think this is the best dairy-free pizza that I've ever had? Sadly, no. My title still goes to myself, number one. I make a great dairy-free pizza. I put anchovies on it, it's just, it's incredible. Um, number two has to go to Slice of Vegas in Las Vegas, right? I have hoped that maybe some of their other pizzas may be more tasty, or maybe the pepperoni on my pizza could have helped, which I never got, by the way. It came without it, and it just seemed, they, they seemed so preoccupied that I didn't go back and bother them. 
So as I said earlier, I don't like to look at reviews before I go, but let's look at them now because I'm just curious if what happened to me happened to other people or different or what other people think. So this one actually says I'm actually from this neighborhood and I've always loved this place, but today it was the worst pizza I've ever had. The pizza was not only overcooked and burnt, but it was cold. I ordered the Swine Fighter, which is the only pizza I eat at this place. And this time it was made of a Sicilian style, not a slice, and it was cold. My guess is that it was the days before, and I, you know, I guess it was the day, it was there the days before, and they tried to reheat it. I also ordered the Honey Hot Wings, which were also overcooked and hard. I told the kid that was serving me, which was the same one on the register, and he didn't even turn around to address me in any way even after I expressed myself about not being, you know, not serving the burnt swine fighter. He served me. I've always promoted this place on my social media, but sadly, it looks like they say I can't do that or recommend this place to anyone in the industry. I work in until they clean up there, right? Um, like I said, I'm from the neighborhood and I can't say I won't be back but most definitely have high expectations when I come in and I can't say I had it for the 30 bucks. I just threw it away. How about this one? This one says the Spanish woman on the night shift has zero personality. She's like a robot and she was bad at her job. That and due to the high costs and the fact that this place is in the ghetto. I saw several drug addicts and bums hanging around up the street. And they give the date here. I decided to give this place another try. And again, I've had lousy service this time by a young guy behind the cash register that seemed pushy, cocky, and disrespectful. I got a few slices that were reheated. They tasted pretty bad and dried out. Plus there was a lot, a lot of just dough and bread. Also, again, you feel like you're gonna get knifed by some junkie when you go to this location. Here's another one. I don't know who raves about this place or why, but they were at the New Jersey Pizza Festival and every vendor was supposed to be charging $2 for a half slice. Tony Bologna asked for $10 for a single tiny slice of pepperoni pizza. Yes, you read that correctly, $10. I should have said no, but my girlfriend had wanted to try it so bad because of all the hype. Completely disappointing. There is nothing special about their pizza compared to any other good New Jersey pizza joint. Complete ripoff. Would suggest to get pizza elsewhere, especially if you would like to be able to retire before you die. This one from Kay. I'm from Maryland and spent a few days in Atlantic City. Decided to stop here for pizza since we brought pizza from Tony Bologna's a few months ago from another location in New Jersey. There are four locations, I think. We stood at the register for five minutes trying to decide what we wanted. Not once did any of the three employees that were standing behind the counter speak and ask if they could help us. That was enough for me to walk out. Hate to play the race card, but I'm African American. Plus the pizza looked like it had been sitting all day. From Kadima, I hope I said that name right, I'm sorry. Kadima, Kadima. Oh my God, the workers are rude. The food was so tasteless, it's like they didn't even try. It was a struggle to find decent vegan food and this place fell so short. They didn't have any vegan pizza. And when asked about the fries, we were rudely told they only put salt and pepper on the fries. I hate when restaurants with vegan options, I prefer an all vegan restaurant. Vegans beware. And lastly, here's our last review from Dawn. Not impressed. I decided to go there after reading reviews about the vegan food and how they can make anything vegan. Definitely not the case. I arrived Sunday, 4.45 p.m. They close at nine. I asked for one of the vegan pizza slices. 
the guy at the counter said, they don't have any more. Someone just brought, bought the last slice. I'm thinking, wait a minute, you still have four hours before you close. You don't make slices? I was told, nope, but they still have vegan garlic knots. What the hell? Or what the heck, right? Yes, I won't even waste the trip there again. I've never heard of a pizza spot not making more pizza that they sell. Shortly, the slices would have sold. So some interesting reviews from these folks and some similarities between my visit as I expressed about the attitude and the way that it felt and how the pizza lacked in a full depth of flavor, the vegan one that is. So um, again, my lack factor is based on my review and my score and my opinion. But I just wanted you to hear some other opinions as well, which is on Google. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video when I grade somebody else. Have a great day, God bless, and make sure to live your best dairy-free life.